when you take a look at Constance Oeuvre, uh, in the beginning uh, he takes on a lot of influences uh, of uh, artists working at the same period of time. But uh, at the Koba period you see also some connections of course to Picasso for example. He made a lot of paintings uh, that refer to the scorched uh, earth. And there's also a painting in the selection that's called uh, The Fire. And in this painting I think you see uh, perfectly well that he took a good look at the Guernica. Uh, but when you take a look at the late years before he starts the New Babylon uh, uh, project, then uh, he uh, takes a look at uh, the style artists for example, and uh, somewhat later he also takes a good look at the uh, Russian constructivists. So I think there are a lot of influences already in the early stages of his career. And later in New Babylon I think uh, you see uh, a lot of influence of the uh, well, after the ideas of uh, Guy Debord, for example, of the Situationist. I wanted to put uh, his work and his project New Babylon in a context be because a lot of the time people say, well, he was this artist who made uh, the only utopian project in this 50s and 60s, and he was the only one working uh, with his uh, ideas. But I think a lot of artists work with the same uh, subjects in, in that uh, period of time. And I think as Mata is concerned, for example, uh, this is an artist uh, who he, he was uh, an architect first and uh, he uh, told in an interview once that um, uh, he wanted to build uh, or wanted to paint uh, the architecture that he couldn't build. So in his paintings you see a lot of the structures that relate a bit to the structures uh, Constant uh, paints later in his career uh, in his paintings. So I think uh, Constant took a very good look at what was happening around uh, him. He also said it in an interview once that he wanted to put all the ideas uh, of his time in one piece of art. Before uh, the 50s it was very common uh, to uh, for a period of time to be avant-garde and to uh, think in those big ideas about the world and about society and things like that. And in a way you can say that uh, New Babylon is the last big project that uh, is of this uh, ambition, of this idealism. And I think uh, you uh, can never relate uh, better than to such an idealistic uh, piece of art. Uh, I think a lot of artists nowadays uh, try again to be uh, such uh, engaged artists and be uh, political as well. Don't be ashamed of being political and take a standpoint or uh, yeah, a reflect a view on this, uh, in, on this world and how we can live together. And I think it's very daring to do so. And I think uh, a long time after New Babylon this was not done to do that as an artist. And I think uh, the meaning of this project lies in the fact that uh, a lot of artists today feel strong because of a project like this. Uh, with the gypsies, um, he was very much inspired by their way of living and their free way of living and their playful way of living. Um, and of course as well by uh, the partying and the, the guitar playing and these are a bit cliches but of course when they fit in this whole uh, uh, schedule of uh, development towards this New Baldwin project it really makes sense.